primary cough headache that is a topic so cough means it's a simple reflex that is whenever any foreign material it is trying to enter the lungs the lungs will try to expel it out this process of expelling the foreign material is called as cough so any person who has got continuous cough of course he'll get headache it's so simple so why should i uh, have a separate topic on this why should i give importance for this cough headache so as and when you see this uh, video you will you will understand the reason behind this now this cough headache this can be classified as two types it can be primary cough headache or it can be secondary cough headache primary cause is when the, there is no particular reason for this and suddenly the person starts coughing he gets a bout of cough because of that continuous bout of cough he gets headache which gets relieved after some time there is no particular triggering cause for that maybe a small sneezing or bit of allergy or something like that now the reason for the headache is that when you have continuous cough the pressure inside the head the intracranial pressure increases this will trigger some particular areas of the brain which will result in a headache now coming back to the classification that is primary cough headache where there is no particular reason for it now coming to the second one the secondary cough headache so you secondary means you have a reason for it the, let me tell you some common reasons first common reasons being upper respiratory tract infection and chronic sinusitis or acute sinusitis where the sinus uh, where the pus dripples down behind the nose irritates the throat and it results in cough or tonsillitis pharyngitis bronchitis any severe lung infection and even in the starting those who have bronchial asthma the starting stage of this wheezing problem it starts with cough and i can still keep on telling you so many results uh, the causes for cough even some particular uh, anti hypertensive drugs also can produce cough there are so many reasons for that so many different reasons for cough so the common ones being i have listed no one or two i have listed that is not a problem because you take a course of antibiotic and you take a few medicines medications along with that it gets cured within 5 or 7 days the problem is in the absence of this cause there is no uh nasal complaint no throat complaint and absolutely no chest complaint patient has got continuous cough and has got severe headache and the headache keeps on increasing and it goes to a stage where he starts vomiting also that means the reason is not in the periphery it is somewhere in the brain so let me tell you one or two causes for that one is the person can be having or he may be developing aneurysm aneurysm means there are so many blood vessels in the brain this blood vessel one of them it can start diluting in one particular direction and when it happens so it is called as a news one more cause being there is some malignancy or cancer particularly in the this behind the posterior part of the brain posterior fossa scientifically saying is the posterior fossa these are the one or two common causes of secondary cough headache which cannot be neglected now the common reasons which i have told you some infection somewhere in the upper respiratory tract or the lower respiratory tract which can be easily uh, dealt with and you don't need to have any investigation unless it prolongs for some time so in that case a doctor may ask you a chest x ray and if the doubtful they may go in for a ct scan chest that's it or a few blood test also in case of absence of all this and headache is persisting which is increasing in that case we need to take a mri scan if we can add up mri and our mrv to that then coming to a diagnosis is going to be easier now let me tell you the treatment part of secondary cough headache where the treatment for the simple ones like upper respiratory tract infection or any infection in the upper respiratory tract or the lower respiratory tract so you will be given a course of antibiotic along with that you need cough uh, suppressant or expectorant so what is the difference between cough suppressant and expectorant expectorant what it does is it tries to uh, thin the these expectorants are given for those patients who have productive cough they have phlegm 
to make the phlegm thin and to reduce the cough we need cough expectorant in that case if you see the lay, read the label in that bottle it will be written one of the ingredients be guaifenesin and in case of cough suppressant where the cough is dry cough one of the ingredients it will be dexamethorphan so you have cough expectorant and suppressant two different things for two different conditions along with that if you can do steam inhalation also that is going to help you and we need to do gargling also gargling you can do with plain water warm water or you can add salt to it or turmeric or neem like herbal if you want uh, tulsi leaves or neem leaves like that so whenever you gargle see to it you gargle for at least 30 seconds do it two to three times and after the procedure after the gargling please do not eat or drink anything for next one hour so that you have the local effect of the gargle now along with that along with along with the gargle there are few more tip points i want to tell you see once the cough starts then slowly it can become a habit for you so to prevent that what you do is you take before the onset of cough take sips of warm water that is going to help you a lot and along with that if suppose the cough is prolonged for some time some herbal remedies like if you can take half teaspoon natural honey that is going to do good or as a replacement if you can take garlic one small piece chew it and just swallow it that is also going to help you these are natural ones remedies herbal one remedies and the normal habit like habits like if you are uh, you are smoker quit smoking and try to avoid passive smoking also so those person who have allergy so you know what are the allergy uh, you are allergic to try to avoid all that and particularly at the type of when the cough is more try to avoid air conditioned room and do not sleep right under the fan and when you sleep your head and elevation should be at least 30 to 40 degrees that also can give you some small relief little relief try those patients who are allergic try to avoid aspirin containing foods because those persons who have allergic rhinitis or bronchial asthma if and they have continuous cough they can the aspirin containing food when you take it can precipitate cough now along with the medications if you can take some multivitamins and a particular tablet called n acetyl cysteine which can be taken once or twice daily that also is going to help you now these are the treatment for common causes of secondary cough headache which can be managed so once a cough is managed your headache can be easily managed any painkiller simple painkiller will be more than enough coming to the the dangerous causes of secondary cough headache that is i have mentioned two sherry uh, malformation is one the second being aneurysm the third being uh, uh, any type of malignancy in the posterior fossa for this when the cough is prolonged for a long time and there is no other particular reason for it in that case and it has been diagnosed with a mri scan the next person who is going to help you the doctor who is going to help you is neurosurgeon so whenever you have prime, uh, secondary cough headache and the headache is persisting it is increasing it is not tolerable you don't have any the source of infection please do not neglect the earlier you see your doctor the better the earlier you see the earlier you start treatment the earlier you start treatment the better will be the prognosis that is the idea of that is a point why i have taken this topic so please do not neglect cough related headache which lasts for a long time thank you so much